All right, so this, could you please state your, your name and yeah. what role you have in the film? Uh, do I look at the camera or look at you? You, you can look at me, that's okay. fine, yeah. Uh, ben Lovett, okay. I'm the composer for The Night House. Nice. Directed by my longtime friend and collaborator, David Brugner. Excellent, Hello, excellent. Crashing yeah. the interview here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, this, I understand we this is your third. We just did our introductions, so this is the director. Yes. Hello. Nice to meet you. My name is Brian Smith from the Dream Path Podcast. Hey, Brian. Yeah. So this is your third time working with uh, the director. That's right. Well, officially. Well, fish. Well, yeah. There were, there were the shorts. Sure. Yeah. We have a lot of things that no one will ever see. Yeah. <laughs> if, if we can help it. Yeah. And how did this relationship start? This professional relationship. College, man. College, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, we were making college. stuff in uh, the early aughts in Atlanta. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Well, I, I find, you know, personally that the music and the score of a suspense or a thriller or a horror movie is probably the most important aspect of the emotion of the the experience. Is is that why you, you're going with a trusted composer to make sure that it's done right? Is this the oh, third time? I mean, look, he has the ability to make or break every single moment in many ways. He's also a bit of a story therapist. I mean, he comes in a little bit, you know, once I've come out of the shoot and uh, I'm a little bit shipwrecked on what the hell just happened. Ben, ben is really good about like, what did you mean here? And what, what, where are we going with this? And and, uh, and what if we ask for this instead of this? So oh, that's nice. It's, it's very much a narrative collaboration. It's not just, you know, I don't just order the music. Um, you know, yeah. Ben pushes me around a little bit. So do you do you find that it's necessary to be physically together for that process, uh, or are you working remotely? It's a little bit of both, really. Like on this one, we were together, had a lot of conversations at the beginning, and then he went away to shoot, kind of went off to war, stayed home and mended, started working and sewing on yeah. ideas. And then it's that phase after, in the post-production, when we have an opportunity to get in the same room together, that I think that's when really it starts to formulate an identity. Yeah. And then your your experience, like what what was your uh, trajectory educationally and uh, professionally that led you to this unique job? It's very haphazard in a way. He, Dave and I both sort of came from more of a self-taught punk rock filmmaking background. Like neither of us really studied it in school or had mentors to sort of come up under. We've all we both kind of learned on the job. So nice. learned by doing and it's been very haphazard but very educational. Yeah. Okay. Um, we gotta run to a tech okay. hey, Nice talking to you. Do you need to sign off or anything? No, we're good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.